Happiness. This is Dr. Srikan from Team MDS Conquer. Now I'm here to discuss few questions from MDS Conquer NEET 2020 recall. So going into the question, a 50 year old patient, few days after the extraction of mandibular third molar, experienced difficulty in breathing. Intraoral examination reveals restricted mouth opening and raised tongue. What can be the diagnosis of this case? Options are here. A. Submandibular cellulitis. B. Ludwig's angina, C, TB lymphadenitis, D, lymphoma of tongue. So before going into the question, you need to identify the key points. The first key point is extraction of mandibular third molar. The next one, experience difficulty in breathing, raised mouth opening and raised tongue and restricted mouth opening. So if you go to the etiology, the most common etiology for Ludwig's angina is the infection of the third molars, the infection of the mandibular molars is the most common etiology which is given in the question. And of course the most common cause for the death of Ludwig's angina case is obstruction of airway and the emergency thing or the emergency treatment what you have to do for Ludwig's angina case is relieve the obstruction of airway which, which can be seen as a difficulty in breathing. You can see a mouth open appearance in the case of Ludwig's angina case that is a restricted mouth opening and you can see a peculiar tongue that is raised. So with this you can confirm or you can conclude the diagnosis as the Ludwig's angina. If you go in detail into the few questions which were given in various examinations uh, or the questions which moves around Ludwig's angina, the tongue is called as woody tongue. So when, when you have a description of woody tongue, you can blindly go for Ludwig's angina as a primary option, but this type of woody tongue can also be seen in the case of actinomycosis. Of course, we have to learn about woody legs. Woody legs are seen in the case of vitamin C deficiency. Woody gums are seen in the case of anatomy. So let's learn about woody tongue. All woodies, right? Woody tongue is Ludwig's angina and actinomycosis. Woody legs is vitamin C deficiency and woody gums are anatomy. And three peculiar features that you can see in Ludwig's angina are the first important thing, it's an indurated swelling. Okay, brownie indurated swelling is again a most common key term that is used in describing the Ludwig's angina and which doesn't pit. Okay, the, the, the swelling doesn't pit. And mostly it's going to be a bilateral swelling. It's always a bilateral swelling, never an unilateral swelling. So other important point that you can add is a, a bilateral a bilateral bony swelling is seen in the case of cherubism. Cherubism is again a bilateral one, right? And you can see one more bilateral swelling. Bilateral salivary gland swelling are seen in the case of mums. Okay, so bilateral swell, salivary gland swelling is seen in the case of mums. Bilateral, uh, your bony swelling is seen in the case of your cherubism, right? So again, the third, I mean, the, the one more, like bilateral swelling, which involves three types of lymph nodes, that is the submandibular lymph nodes, submental lymph nodes, and sublingual lymph nodes. Okay, so all these lymph nodes on both the sides, they cause the swelling. And of course, the most important thing as already discussed, it is open mouth appearance. So you can see a clinical photograph of Ludwig's angina case. You can easily identify a mouth open appearance. The mouth cannot be closed. Okay, and the next important aspect of the question, which is given in various examinations long back, is the standard airway for Ludwig's angina is cricothyroidectomy. Crico. Okay, so the standard airway is cricothyroidectomy and the next important thing that you have to make a note about Ludwig's angina is the organisms which are responsible for the occurrence of Ludwig's angina. So this is again a, again a most commonly asked question that what are the organisms which are uh, basically responsible for the occurrence of Ludwig's angina and these organisms according to the textbook is streptococci and various mixed anaerobes okay the streptococcus and various mixed anaerobes are the causative organisms so the answer for this question is the ludwig sangina i feel this question is one of the easiest question in your neat 2020 recall done for now signing off dr Srikant, and uh, please do subscribe the channel for more questions which moves around NEET 2020 and AIMS 2020.